Hello people, today we were going to be doing a reaction to the Critics' Choice Awards. Last week we had the Golden Globes, and it, everything went basically according to plan. There was some surprises, and they really messed up the actress categories, and I'm still most curious about what they're going to pick for actors, and that's probably what I'm most anticipating in this whole entire show so far. I'm clearly not home right now, so I'm at my grandma's, so yeah, I have, but that's not going to stop me from doing my reaction to the Critics' Choice. So let's just get on with it. You'll be watching my reactions now. Okay, here we are, Best Supporting Actor. Daniel Kaluuya has this in the bag. I'm not gonna be, uh, it's gonna be Kaluuya. And the critics' choice is? We shall see. Daniel Kaluuya. Yep. Judas and the Black it went to Kaluuya again. No surprise there, he's gonna sweep the season. So yeah, next award. Okay, Best Supporting Actress, I don't know. It's maybe Minari or Mank. So it's either Seinfeld or Young. Or really curious. Maria Bakalova. Whoa! Wow. I didn't. I didn't think she was gonna get it, but um, that's that's. Let me turn this down a little bit. That that's. They are not getting these. Um, like she gave a good performance, but um, I don't think they're getting these. Um. Actress awards correctly. I thought um, Minari was gonna get this or Mank, but um, Yeah, anyways, uh, that's a shocker. So let's just get to the next one Okay, best um child actor. I think it's either kid from Minari or news of the world, but maybe that's the only two I've seen so <laughs> It could be anyone Let's see There we go. Yeah, he gave a fantastic performance. There we go. I saw someone say that they thought it was going to be the girl from News of the World. So I'm glad to see um, the Minari kid got it. So, yeah, next category. Okay, this is best comedy. Um, I think Borat has got this in the bag. I really don't know. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Borat. Let's see. And the British choice is... Palm Springs. Whoa! Okay. It's the only... If I only saw two, and that's one of the, the one that I saw. Um, I thought, um, I actually thought Palm Springs was better, so I'm, I'm happy that this won over Borat. So yeah. Anyways, next award. Okay, best acting ensemble. I think this will go to Trial of the Chicago Seven or Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Um, all of these are really good picks. I just don't think it's gonna go to Judas or um, Minari. Okay, let's see. This is a big one. Okay. Of course, my Wi-Fi goes out. Who do they say? Oh, Trial of Chicago 7 got it. Okay, my, um, okay, my Wi-Fi just glitched out on me like that, so, um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm very glad Trial of Chicago 7 got it. It's what I marked who I thought should get it and who I thought would get it, so that's very good, and I'm happy that Trial of Chicago 7 got Best Acting Ensemble. So, next award. Okay, best song. Speak now, better get it. I'm holding hope for it, but we shall see. There we go. Okay, they reversed that choice from last time, so glad to see that they because this one deserves it more. So, yeah. Anyways, next category. Okay, here we are. Best director is either Zano Sorkin. Well, it has to be Zano. Like it, it has to be Zano for Nomadland. And the critic's choice is Chloe Zhao. Yep, Nomadland. there you go. Nomadland is gonna get picture, and it, it, it yeah, it's um, it's sweeping the season. Thank you. Thank you very no, much. no question asked choice. about it. And I need to dedicate this award yeah, so to next award. I'm surprised that they did a director Chloe. this early, but Production next mixer, award. Oh crap. Okay, we just got cinematography for Nomadland. Editing. Oh, nice! Sound of Metal got editing. Happy to see that. New the- new the, oh, oh, snap. Visual effects. Yes! Tenet! Thank you. This is production design. Mank. Okay, doesn't surprise me. Um, hair and makeup. They're going through all these. Ma Rainey, yeah, makes sense. Costume design. Okay, Ma Rainey again. My god, they just, I, I was so anticipating all of those awards, and they just went through them like that. 
So anyways, I don't know why they, they were, they just threw all those awards at me like that, but um, m most of those went exactly how I expected. I thought, um, I, I really did think that, let me turn this down a little bit actually. I thought that, uh, what? My, I thought um, Promising Young Woman was gonna get um, hair and makeup, but that did not happen. Um, did they go over score? I really don't remember. They just went through all of them so fast. But, um, yeah, it, it, it was, I don't know why they go through them so fast and like that, and be, yet they draw out the TV categories. But, yeah, anyways, next category. Okay, best actor. This is going to go to Chadwick Boseman, without question. It's possible Anthony Hopkins. I highly doubt it, though. But I think Chaz would. Ch I think Bozeman's going to sweep the season, but we shall see. And the critic's choice is Chadwick Bozeman. Yep. Ma Rainey's black boy. And we're going to about to see his wife really upset again. But anyways, um, next category went, went as expected. So. Oh crap. Um. Okay. Okay, that went as expected. Uh, Fresnel got um. Minari's going to get this. I don't have to look. But um. Original screenplay just went to... Oh, this is going to be Soul. Yeah, there you go. Um, adapted ad Original screenplay just went to um, Promising Young Woman, which really just shocked me. I thought it was going to be Sorkin, but, um, you know, Fresnel was definitely going to be a upset if so. So I I'm not shocked, but I am I thought it was going to be Trial again. But, yeah. Anyways, that is... Um, that, that was just a, a lot of stuff, again, just thrown at me that I really care about, but yet they drag out the TV stuff, but you know, that's the Critics' Choice Awards for you. So, next category. Okay, Best Actress. It's, uh, this is a mess of a category at the moment. It, it may be Andrew Day because going off that train, but I'm thinking either really, either Mulligan or, um... What's my name? Probably Mulligan at this point, but maybe Andrew Day. I don't know it anymore. Is Carrie there we go. Thank you. They they took the award and put it in the right direction. No no more Andrew Day. She gave a fantastic performance in a crappy movie. Crappy movie should not win awards like this. But yeah, I'm very happy it went in the right direction. So next category. Okay, we're going through the every category for sound. Um, that's on middle. Um, for um. Best Picture, Sound of Metal is the nominee right here. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to watch No My Land win again because that's what's going to happen. But I just decided I'd take the time to discuss these people or movies. News of the World is a ridiculous choice. It's such an Oscar bait movie. But, um, yeah, to recap from earlier, they just threw a lot of stuff at us right now. Um, screenplay, I acted like it was a big deal, but it, it doesn't surprise me now that I'm really thinking about it because I marked that as the upset for that category. Um, but yeah, let's just go through the rest of these movies. Um, Nomadland, there's our winner. Um, it, it's going to win. It, it, uh, yeah, the other movies we went through was um, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I, I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. Promising Young Woman. Really liked it. Solid choice. Um, but um, we also had Sound of Metal, which is actually my favorite of these um, movies. Minari, which I also really, really liked, and probably in the top three out of all of these. But um, Sound of Metal, um, I never thought I'd like... I thought um, I'd probably have Sound of Metal last or something like that, but it's actually not. Um, the Five Bloods, which was a lot early in, in the year, and I and I knew that this was going to get some awards buzz the second I saw it. Trial of Chicago 7 definitely has been aging very well with me, and yeah, I think that's it for the um, best picture discussion that we have to do. And let's just watch Nomad Nomadland win again. The critic's choice for best picture is... Nomadland. There you go. Um, it, it's not it's not my favorite out of all of them. I do I, I really like the movie. I, I gave it a nine out of ten. But there's movies in this category I do like more. But it's it's still a really good choice, and I'm not upset. Um, the only movies I really don't like on from these nominations was News of the World and I, which I thought was just okay. And One Night in Miami I thought was good, not great. 
and but yeah all of these like even news of the world i could say i like it so yeah i'm gonna watch the rest of the speech and i'll do my overall thoughts at the end of this video so that was the Critics' Choice Awards 2021. It went basically how I expected it to go for the most part. There was maybe one or two surprises. The biggest surprise was actually, for me, was the beginning where um, Borat won Best Supporting Actress. Um, I guess I could say kind of a surprise was um, original screenplay for Promising Young Woman. Um, but that, I did have that marked down as an upset from Trial of Chicago 7. So that wasn't too much of a shock either. So nothing here was really too much of a shocker tonight. So... Some of that's good, some of it's bad. I'm glad that Carrie Mulligan got Best Actress, most of all. <laughs> Thank God that Andrew Day thing is good. I did watch the movie since Golden Globes, ever since she won. And I, I, I thought her performance was phenomenal. It's just the movie was terrible. So, yeah. Anyways, that those are the critics' choice. So, um, I don't know when I'll be doing another reaction video to um, uh, an awards show. As far as I know, the next one is the Oscars. Oh, sorry about that shaky camera right there. But, um... Yeah, I know the BAFTA nominations will be announced um, two days from now, so I plan to be doing a video on that as well. So yeah, anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.